Drogheda had a really uh, down to the bare bones and maybe that decision to not bring anybody in in the window might come back to haunt him. We believe that as the cross comes in towards Dini Corcoran. Well, what a brilliant ball that was in from Ronan Murray and Dini Corcoran. Mick really should have done better from that from that distance. You would have thought absolutely a clear cut shot. Great ball in by Martin. Caught everybody by surprise. It was a tap in. Definitely as the ball was coming in, the freedom that Dini created for himself. I thought it was a tap in finish for him. And it's. A run being made by Mark Doyle now, he gets into the box, he's going to get the shot away, he rolls it towards the far post, gone beyond. So back to something like it's full strength tonight for Waterford. Here's Liu Keane, he plays it across, a good ball across, and well, the flag goes up. Doyle couldn't keep it down, but the flag was up here. Gives it for Wordsworth. Kavanagh again gets it. Trying to get around Heaney down that left-hand touchline. Heaney gets a tackle in, and then Gary Deegan comes across, and that was uh, a little bit reckless from Gary Deegan there, and he's getting a yellow card. That was a bit reckless. So, second player to go into the book, Gary Deegan. And uh, it was a uh, good play from Kavanagh. Oh, he's very lucky boy. That's uh, it's a really bad run challenge run from Gary Deegan. Boy, There's no other way of describing it, Mick. He was very fortunate not to get a red card for that. For uh, O'Keefe here, I should say. And it's down the line towards Patterson. He's got Phillips in front of him. Is he going to try and take him on? He tries to get to the byline and gets the cutback. And it's a good interception from Gary Deegan. Good play there. Didn't know anything about before the game, but yes. he looks like a tidy player, Mick. He looked down there. And tonight is something that the players haven't been used to in the last few weeks with the pitch being so dry. There's a lovely wet surface tonight. And the ball has absolutely been pinged around. With the goal at the beginning of the term was to stay up, and they're going to do that. And there's Mark Doyle in behind. It's gone over the bar. Absolutely fantastic ball up by was it Gary Deegan. And a great Deegan run by Mark Doyle. Gr great awareness by him, seeing the keeper off his line. He's got Lucchini pulling wide on the right for him, and he plays one through the middle once again, as Drogheda have tried to do a few times in this first half. It's broken back to, Dean, to, to Dinny Corcoran. Here's a crack. Couldn't keep it down. Diga, as he's known. Good ball from Highland again, and Mark, he plays it down the line towards Lucchini. He gets the cross in to the near post, and it's well defended by Kyle Ferguson. So now here's O'Keefe. Is he going to have a go? Runs away from a little, but he slips it into Kavanagh. He has a chance. Oh, it was a really good opportunity for Waterford. Post and a lovely bit of play. Nice little slide rule ball through and uh, a let off there for Drogheda. Good play from O'Keefe. Thought it was just that going to get away from, but he found a little pass. Lovely ball through. Kavanagh took it on his right. Build something early in this second half. Gets away from Wordsworth, who had a little tug at him, but Markey goes on, gets the cross in. Cameron Evans, well, it would be. <laughs> Extremely unfortunate if Cammy Evans scored another own goal here. He's got Heaney behind him. It's a nice bit of play there from Stafford. And in the box, and the referee gives the free kick on the edge, just on the edge of the box. And uh, we saw Drada had a little bit of misfortune in an area not too far away from where that free kick was given last week when the penalty was given in the 95th minute. Free kick comes in from Griffin, and it's in! I think it got a touch on the way in. And it looks like it's uh, John Martin that they're running to celebrate with, but he really fizzed that one in Griffin. Beautiful strike, and it just got a little touch on the way through. Otomosu had no chance. It was a beautiful strike. And here it is from another angle. And uh, rolls it out towards uh, our power over on that far side, and it's into the edge of the box. Is that a penalty? Referee says play on. It's another chance for Waterford, and Otomosu makes a really good save. Their confidence is up, and they're playing the ball around nicely. Certainly, yeah, Otomosu was after keeping drawn in this game. Patterson got through to get his first goal on, on his debut. Shane Griffin again, another vicious ball, and again, the same combination. It was Martin that got his head in it, Otomosu had thrown himself. It was cleared by one of the Drada defenders in there, but uh, here come Waterford again, towards the back post, and well, Daniel O'Reilly again, but once again, all of the white shirts back inside their own half here. Waterford, uh, well, Murray's gotten in behind, it's a chance here, it's rolled across the goal, yeah. is it in? It's going to stand... We were saying that they were well set up, Waterford. Maybe they were just inviting a little bit too much pressure on themselves by getting everybody back behind the ball. It's Jake Highland. I was almost expecting the flag to go up there, Mick, but a lovely ball across. And uh, it was Daniel O'Reilly, left-footed, beautiful ball across, and really well taken by Ronan Murray. Breakout now, and it's Katirna. Recent signing, he's running at Killian Phillips, and he's going to, is he going to get the shot away. It's a lovely run. Good save from Otomosu. Here he is again. Lovely ball towards Prince, and he's got away, and he's in here. There's a real chance for Waterford, and he scored! He was in acres of space there, really. Drada never got themselves set from the initial what? chance what? that Otomosu saved. It looked like they never... The run was made. He got away from Killian Phillips. Was played behind him. He did really well to spin and finish it through David Otomosu's legs. Wouldn't have expected, but here's Griffin. 
and uh, what Drogheda doesn't need to be careful to not give away any silly free kicks the shot comes in well what a strike that was unbelievable from Prince back off the crossbar a few moments ago a long ball from Dan O'Reilly massive bodies up there looked like a push in the back and it's been given it was Greg Halford a little nudge it wasn't that subtle either from a player of his experience underneath it and well Mick this is it last chance saloon here for Drogheda surely this is surely their last chance of the game well, this is Ronan Murray territory or maybe Daniel O'Reilly well Drogheda on the end of a heartbreaking equaliser against Derry last week in the fifth minute of added time how ironic would it be if they were to redress the balance tonight and score an equaliser of their own at the death Jake Highland is uh, having words with words I think, I think the referee is red card is somebody it looks like he may have I'm just going to try and see what is happening here it's Wordsworth I think that has been ordered off and uh, well I'm actually uh, a little bit puzzled as to what's happened there we'll uh, hasn't been booked I'm not quite sure what's happened there unless he said something to the referee goes to one up comes Murray rolls it to the side to Dara Markey, he gets a shot away, but it's blocked well. You do wonder if that was the right decision. O'Reilly slings across in, and it's straight into the hands of Brian Murphy. Knocks it down, and there goes the full-time whistle. And uh, this is I try and get some confirmation as to why Wordsworth was sent off. Waterford's Twitter account has no idea either, so they're as bemused as we are. So that's the story here from Head in the Game Park. A really vital win for Waterford on the road. Takes them out of the relegation positions for, for uh, Drogheda, rather. The opportunity to go ahead of Bohemians in the table is gone and their bad recent run of form continues. Final score here from Head in the Game Park. Draw United 1, Waterford 2. I'm joined by Drawdy United manager Tim Clancy after tonight's 2-1 loss to Waterford. Uh, a disappointing home loss. Uh, how do you sum that up? Um, soft. Very, very soft. It's a game I thought we were far the better team. Um, spoke at half time about not giving them anything. Uh, lazy defending. By Lukey letting them get the wrong side, then just pulling them down. Ball in the box, Doyler doesn't mark his man. A um, minute later, they nearly scored again from another ball in the box, Doyler not marking his man. Uh, and then we score, get on top of the game again, and it's just. Oh, you can't, you just can't allow for it. You can't allow Killian. Doesn't go tight in the kid, just backs off. Played in the channel, he switches off. Simple ball across the box. Your man takes a touch and finishes. It's not good enough. Not good enough. Yeah, obviously we know uh, how tough a game this was going to be. Uh, especially Dave had a, a brilliant result last week. I know sort of it was the same sort of game here. Uh, they had a really good uh, cup tie and then they had to come down here. You know what I mean? Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough game because they were f flying before they played Sligo as well and had a, a brilliant win. So you probably knew it was going to be a tough game as well. Every game's tough. Yeah. Every game's tough, but maybe the lads don't realise that. I've just told them there, they've been getting plaudits all year and they've been accepting them, and deservedly so. But they've got to realise that we're in a serious relegation fight here now. A serious relegation fight. And that's the worrying thing now is I don't know if they um, will respond to the way it should be. Um, it's not good enough. Not good enough. Yeah, as well, there's a few tough games coming up as well. I know, as you mentioned, every game's tough, but Derry away, and then you've got to bring Shamrock Rovers here, and then, and then that tough run of games which we know about this, that we've had this season. As I said, every single game is tough, so... If they want to keep uh, wanting to play good football, not to the other side of it, it, it that, that's, that's not football. That's not proper football. It's just getting plotted for going forward and attacking. If you're going to defend the way we defended, um, the goals we conceded are, are really, really poor goals. So um, it's worrying. It's really worrying for, for next week up in Derry and then the three games after that or four games after that and then we're into the last ten games of the season. So um, serious, serious rethinking and, and change of directions needed. Yeah, as well, there was, I know Sparky went off uh, on, on Saturday and uh, obviously Christy as well had, his, had an operation not long ago, so how far do you think they'll be? Don't know, we've got to see what the situation is with Sparky. He's had a, a knock on his other knee, so we're hoping it's not too bad. Um, Christy should be back in maybe another three weeks or so. Um, we had to have a little procedure just to nick uh, a little problem he had in the back of his knee. And this we welcome Jimmy and Dane back. Big yeah. Huey was out again. We're down bodies, but we've been down bodies all year, so yeah. that's not an excuse. Um, but we need to seriously, seriously um, get back to doing what we were doing in the first 20 odd games of the season. Perfect, thanks very no much. Worries. Uh, I'm joined by Brandon Birmingham, who has had his last game for Draw United. Uh, Brandon, do you want to explain to us? 
Yeah, uh, I'm off to the States um, on Sunday, Mississippi on a scholarship, so, um, yeah, that's it really, yeah. Yeah, obviously you've had uh, plenty of great experiences here with Drada. I know, you know, it's the club close to your heart because, you, you know, you've grown up around Drada and that. Um, obviously I spoke to you at the start of the season and, you know, you were quite unlucky with injuries and that this season. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you probably didn't get, you know, with injuries and that. It probably wasn't the, the, the half the season that you wanted. Uh, yeah, like starting off last year, obviously last year was like great for me as well. Like I really enjoyed last year. Um, growing up as well, it was a special moment for me that I remember. Yeah. Um, this year, it started off, it was up and down because I pulled me quad at the start of the year, so yeah. it was hard um, on that case um, with appearance wise. So I didn't play much, as much as I'd like, but um, I still enjoyed the season and the lads were, to were tops as well. So um, although it wasn't how I wanted it to end as well with tonight obviously losing, yeah. um, I'll always remember it. Like, yeah, I know. And, and you know, you're going away for four years uh, to Mississippi, as, as you mentioned. Uh, brings opportunity for yourself. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Um, just looking forward to it, to be honest. Uh, just getting to work on Sunday and then see where, see where it brings me. It's four years, like, so just see where it brings me in the future, like. Yeah, of course. And, you know, finally, just, just a few. You've had plenty of highs with Drada since you've come in. Um, obviously, that, that, uh, that last season, you know, plenty of great goals. That, the goal that stands out most to me is probably the, the goal in Tala that day. But yeah. then, you know, you had a, a brilliant performance throughout the whole season. And then when you got promoted as well, it was probably the, the best way to end last season. Yeah, last season, obviously, I said it there, it was probably yeah. the best season in my football career. Like, so um, that one against Raw was, was my first goal for the club as well. So yeah. that, like, it means more. Um, and then obviously how we finished the season as well was um, very special and yeah, I remember. Perfect. We wish you the very best of luck and thanks Thank for you. all your work.